Hi, I'm comedian May Martin, and you're watching Speed Date with Extra Magazine. You're competing on Last One Laughing Canada this season. How does it feel to go up against these legends like Tom Green? I had a lot of, you know, big plans going in, and I had strategy in my head, and it all kind of went out the window because it, it turns out that I'm like a sort of giggly. 13 year old is that's the vibe like you know trying not to laugh 10 of canada's best comedians will be trapped in this room together with one common goal try and make each other laugh i'm ready to compete this is an epic battle so i i really got hysterical quite early on and uh also being around tom green and colin mockery and i didn't know this was for charity to be or not Th those guys are very silly, very funny, and I grew up watching them. So it was, yeah, it was a nightmare in terms of like, it was really fun, but it was it was that that awful feeling of trying not to laugh. What's it like being non-binary and queer in comedy? The main thing is it's getting a lot better and uh, more common. And definitely when I started in the early 2000s, it was uh, it was still the the butt of the joke was still was still queer identity. So it's definitely changed a lot. We're moving in the right direction. It's so light, this show. I mean, it's it's so silly. So yeah, that's always the best way to lower people's defenses and demystify things like non-binary identity. Hopefully, you know, some people who don't know much about that stuff will give it a Google after. And who's your favorite stand-up these days? Right now, I'd say my favorite stand-up to watch is a guy called John Kearns. If I was waiting for a train and I saw a dog driving it, <laughs> I'd get on. But also Tig Notaro. Good evening, hello. I have cancer. How are you? Sabrina Jalice. It has been such a great time for women and such a terrible time for men who have been doing weird shit with their dicks. There's tons, yeah. What is the biggest difference between British and Canadian comedy? Scale, like there's way more uh, comedy clubs in, in the UK than in Canada. But in terms of like tone, I think, I think they're really similar. Both cultures hate ourselves and look inward and make fun of ourselves instead of being particularly aggressive. So yeah, I think they have a lot in common. Talk a bit about your friendship with Elliot Page. I know you guys got matching tattoos last summer. I just feel so lucky to to have him as a friend. Yeah, I just saw, I just was in LA and we did um, karaoke together and that was that was really fun. He has a wonderful voice and yeah, he's a, he's a dream. Yeah, I think we're gonna get more tattoos together. That's the only, that's how I show my love, which is bad because I'm covered in tattoos. What advice do you have for young queer and non-binary comedians who are just starting out? Do as much as you can, spend as much time as you can uh, in that environment, soaking up comedy and, and there's no substitute for, for stage time. And also don't feel you have to explain or apologize for who you are as soon as you get on stage. I think give the audience the benefit of the doubt and uh, hopefully they'll rise to it, you know? Who uh, is your dream celebrity crush? Right now, okay, I'll do a, I'll do a, a list, a rapid list. Jamie Dornan, Javier Bardem, Megan Mullally, Bette Midler, Aubrey Plaza. Harper. This is Abby. Abby is my orphan roommate. We, I am an orphan, but we live together as friends. There's so many, there's so many, yeah. What are the projects in the works? Well, I just finished filming um, season two of The Flight Attendant on HBO with uh, Kaylee Cuoco, so that, it's coming out soon. How do you think you're getting away with any of this? Oh God. Yeah, a new TV thing in development, a couple of movies, um, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. But mainly I'm just excited to see people's reaction to this and then also um, go back on tour and I've got this new stand-up hour. So yeah, I'm busy. Are you not alive? There's nowhere that I'm safe. Fortunately, I'm not a fan of comedy. I am in trouble. So they're really watching. Yes, they're really watching. There's like 400 cameras I in here. I think it's been glancing. <laughs>